All right, troops, Yoker Uni presents. So, when Smudge Pure hit out with Valdo, Monsi, my new boys, I must admit to feeling a wee bit apprehensive, and I was like, Smudge, you're my best pal and all that, but I don't think your relationship has such an understanding. And the wee man was like, Valdo, you're dafty, I pure got these wee mad boys for my flower arranging. To be honest, though, that didn't help put my mind at ease, but the wee mad bottom pure showed me what he was talking about, and it is the best thing I've pure ever seen. Well, unless you count that wee mad dear raver guy who pure fires up and down the old Buchanan Street, getting it pure loudy with any mad street performer. Who is this maddie, by the way? I want to meet him. So Smudge Pure showed me these wee mad things called hydrogel beads, which are pure the much nuts, man. I pure spent half a day playing with these wee mad boys in the water, man. My horns are so wrinkled, they look like a Klingon scrotum after it, but well worth it, wee man, well worth it. So Pure fan about with these wee mad things, Pure got the Valdo hinking about filing out a wee video for your higher revision, cause you's heavy need to get this crap in your heads for the exam, know what I mean? So I'm going to tell you about refraction of light and some mad things called Schnell's Law or whatever, which is pure named after Shuggy Schnell, who was a total weapon for Cardano, by the way. So the reason these wee mad boys pure look like they go invisible in the water is all to do with a mad refractive index. It's got a refractive index pure almost exactly the same as what on that. What am I pure batting on about? Let's get that sorted pronto. Light is a wave hangy. Actual, it's pure simultaneously a wave and a particle. But we'll stick to the wave thing for now, alright? Cause it's pure a wave and that, light can do four things. It can pure reflect, refract, diffract and interfere. Refraction is pure when light changes speed and sometimes a wee bit of direction as it pure files from one medium into another medium. See when I pure talk about a medium, I'm not talking about the mad wee JK Connor or pure hit out with things like Ooh man, I can feel the presence of somebody's granny in the room. Now the wee mad punters pure lap up this rubbish. I'm talking about mediums like dods and materials now, like water or glass or diamond and crap. We even pure call air a medium, know what I mean? These things are pure different densities and stuff, so they'll pure slow light down by different amounts. Light pure wants to cut about at 3 times 10 to the 8 meter a second. It's an actual 299 million 792,458 meters a second, but details we man details. It does this in a vacuum. It does this also in air, know what I mean? But when it pure enters a thicker material or a thicker medium, then it hits the brakes and pure slows down, man. In glass, like your windies or your mad optical fibres and stuff, then light pure goes at 2 times 10 to 8 meter a second. So we need to keep a heavy edge on something called the refractive index for a hang, alright? This is the number that pure tells us by how much light slows down by. Here's your mad refractive indexicals for different things. Light slows down depending on the refractive index, the bigger the index, the more it slows down. But see if you fire any material at an angle, then it'll also pure change direction on that. How much a pure change angle depends on the refractive index and all. Bigger the refractive index, the bigger the change in angle. We pure draw a mad normal line at the boundary where light hits. This is an imaginary dotted virtual line that we pure use to measure angles against. Remember, big chap, the angles that we use are the angles between the light ray and the normal line. Nothing else, alright? Use the wrong angles, you'll get a doing. We can't just use the angle itself, but we need to slap on the old trigonometricals and pop in the sine of the angle for all this to work. When it goes along a normal line, it doesn't change direction, cause sine of zero degrees is zero, know what I mean? Cause the frequency of a beam of light pure tells us what colour it is, then we need to pure remember that colour doesn't change as it pure fires about into different mediums. So if the speed changes and something else has to pure change to keep the frequency and the colour the same, know what I mean? Your wee mad V equals F lambda equation can pure be rearranged for frequency. So if the speed changes then your mad wavelength has to change also. So here's your mad Snell's law then, the ratio of the speed, the wavelengths and the sine of the angles for inside the medium are the same things for outside the medium is equal to the inverse ratio of the refractive indexes. Know what I mean? This can pure be simplified if you're popping a beam of light for air into a medium because air has a refractive index of one. The first wee bit just becomes refractive index on its own. Capish. 
So what is all this crap useful for then? Well, see if your eyes are going to be a bit gommy and all that, then you can pure get connective lenses, which we call spectacles. You can get your mad contact lenses, which do the same thing as your specs, but you can also get your mad laser eye surgery, which is pure nasty, by the way. Makes me heavy weighty, man, just looking at it. Oh, my, oh, <clears throat> oh. Oh, that's, oh, that's, that's, that's not right, man, that is, oh, that's nasty, oh, bleh. that is boofing, by the way, that is pure minging. Oh, man, the pure peel, the pure peel your corner, oh, the pure peel your corner off like an onion and pure burn the bit away underneath it to pure make it a different shape. Oh, my, man, that is the right bit, oh, bleh. That isn't right, by the way. The smudge switch off now, right? right? So your mad spec lenses are curved so the light beams heavily refract to different angles to make the beams either converge or diverge. That's about it, really. Nothing else needs to be said. So if you think that's about a Snell's law, then think again, because I'm going to take a multicolour dump in your kettle of understanding. See the refractive the index for the medium? It's pure different for different colours of light. That's heavy how if you fire white light for the sun or whatever into a triangular prism, then it'll pure get spewed at the other side like a mad rainbow or something. If both edges light's going to separate a wee bit into unique colours and all that, violet pure refracts more than reds, so the refractive index the medium pure has for violet is more than it is for red light, no. Blue's going to be higher than it is for yellow and all that. So troops, you'll also need to know all this pure mucky business about critical angles. Now, I go cut out once, right? I was pure winching this bird for a few months and I was going to pop the question if you wanted to, you know, be my bird prop on that. So I was going to propose to her. I took her somewhere fancy, Nando's. After my extra hot half chicken and large chips, I pure got down on my knee and said, Courtney doll, want to marry us and that? And she was like, I alright, but give a swatch that ring first. Then she pure pulled out a mad refractive index machine, a ray box, and she pure farted about with it for a minute and said, Valdo, ya cheapo man, this isn't a diamond. You heavy got this out Argos, didn't you? Pure fake diamond, isn't it? Turns out Courtney wasn't the bud for me. Actual fact, funny story, turns out her name wasn't Courtney after all. It was Kevin. But what I'm pure saying is you can figure out the refractive index of material for its critical angle. Or you figure out its critical angle via its refractive index. That's what Kevin slash Courtney did with my ring, you know what I mean? If you saw a wee mad be my light already inside your medium hang, then the critical angle is the angle it pure makes if it doesn't refract out. It just goes along the surface of the material. If your mad incident angle is less than this, then it will refract out. If it's more than the critical angle, then you will have your mad total internal reflection. That's heavy how your mad light signals boost along optical fibres. Here's your mad equation ends for the critical angle. It's heavy actual just Schnell's law, but cause the light doesn't come out, its angle of refraction is sine of 90, which as we know is just 1. Right, here's a wee beastie a higher question just to get torn into some exam questions for all this stuff, right? First thing you need to do is to figure out the angle the light makes inside the lens. That's just your mad Schnell's law. By the way, man, see if it doesn't just say anything, just assume it's coming for air into the material, you know what I mean? So your mad angle is 16.9 degrees. Make sure you know how to do your mad inverse sign on your calculators, alright? Working at wavelength is a wee bit trickier. You need to heavy figure out the wavelength of light and air before it goes in. You know the speed of it in air and you pure give the frequency. And remember, the frequency doesn't change. Same colour on that. Once you have the wavelength outside the glass, pop on the Schnell's law, poke about the numbers, and you get your number here. Done. Back to Smudger's balls. If you look at the wee balls when they're pure on your horns and light goes for air into the hydrogel, so it heavy refracts. See the minute you pack the wee balls in the water, then light doesn't refract. Well, maybe just a wee tiny bit, you know what I mean? So it pure looks as like the light has just gone in a straight line for water into the hydrogel and then back out. It's just like looking through water on its own, so it's like the balls aren't nearly there. But see, if you suddenly get a scoop, man, don't worry about it. Just stick your horns in and have a wee rummage around, man. It's pure magic. 
That's all I've got for you. So good luck in your exams. You're a crazy bunch of botting. Catch you, boss. Catch you.